Hi, welcome to another video wine course. This class is about how to knock off the top of a sparkling wine bottle with a champagne flute. Now you may have seen people use a saber, the sword, and they whack off the top of the bottle and glass flies everywhere, people are blinded, bleeding, champagne everywhere, soaked. Yeah, that's amateur hour. Using a champagne flute is so much more elegant and fun and something you can do in your home without a mess. So, the proper preparation to do this is one, a nice really cold bottle of sparkling wine or champagne. It has to be cold so that when you knock the top off, the wine won't blow out of the bottle. It's really cool. It stays right in the bottle. If it's warm, the wine sprays everywhere. Two, you want to remove all the foil. So there's the top and then off the neck also. There, all gone, perfect. And then, I'm going to try to get a little closer right here. I'm going to undo the cage on the wine bottle and move it up one notch. So it's up and then I'm going to move it up one notch Come on, baby, you can do it. There we go. And then clamp it back down again. The reason being, if you drink enough champagne like I do, there you go, you know that this cork can blow on its own at any time. You never know. So while you're getting ready, by having this move, uh, moved up a bit and clamp back down, if the cork goes, it won't blind someone. You want to move it up because the glass will be hitting where the cage used to be and the cage would be in the way. So, perfect. We're all set. Now, every sparkling wine bottle, every champagne bottle, is two pieces of glass put together. So it has two seams down the length of the bottle. So you move your fingers around the neck of the bottle and feel for the seams. And then you want to choose which one is the most pronounced the most raised of the seams. I think it's this one right over here. Because the seam that's raised the most is the weakest part of the bottle. So then I move my cage for the little handle right over that seam so it kind of marks the spot for me so I don't forget it. So that's set. Now, all that's going to happen is 45 degree angle, I'm going to slide the glass along that seam. You hit the bottle square like this, the glass like this, not like this. So the glass is like flat on the neck and just slide it. You're not going to be smashing your arm like crazy. It's very, just a little bit of the wrist, nothing to it. All right. It may take a few hits to do it and you want to warm up, but then boom. So I'm going to look real close to the camera with the bottle so you can see how it's done. Isn't that great? That is so cool. And you can see it's not, you don't hit the bottle very hard with the glass. Nothing to it. It's so much fun. And here's what broke off. Here's what we have left. Let me move up. Here is the top of the thing that broke off the bottle. Cork still in there. Nice, smooth cut. And you can see the champagne didn't come out of the bottle because it's ice cold. That's all there is to it. It's so much fun. You got to try it. And you can go right ahead and pour some sparkling wine. Wine. Sparkling wine. Sparkling wine. Don't mind if I do because I love sparkling wine. It's my favorite. And don't worry about, uh oh, glass. No, there's no glass in the wine. Sometimes there may be a few shards that, while well, this is the clean cut, there may be a shard that breaks off from the bottle, but because of the carbonation, the carbonation pushes those away. So you may want to check on your floor somewhere in case there are any shards like that, but it won't be in the champagne. That's the key part. So there you go. Try it at home. It's so much fun. Once you open a bottle of champagne like this, you'll never go back to the usual way of doing it. Thanks.